The message is clear. Don't buy foreign ingredients if you don't need to. So I just wanted someone to say, hey, stop buying all this foreign rubbish when we've got the best beef in the world. Totally, yeah. So I'm just doing a little tour today, you know, a five-ounce piece of fillet, really sweet, hung for about three and a half weeks, and just let people know what sort of beef we've got in this country. John might be backing beef, but does Michael's choice of chicken worry him? And what about that man over there? Do you reckon that his menu might be just uh, getting the edge on you? Oh, no, definitely not. No? No, 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 he's not getting the edge on me at all. It's completely different. Um, I do, admi I must admit, I do like the sound of that chicken dish. Oh. So I'm looking forward to tasting that. I think it's getting worried. So does Michael think that John should be worried? It's a wonderful chicken. And it's going to be served with a Somerset brandy sauce, cider sauce. It's stunning, it's absolutely beautiful. Michael is confident his produce will give him an edge. John's staying cool, but he's watching. Just uh, got to be careful with chicken. So, I don't want to poison the queen. With that in mind, I shall tread carefully. I've already taken them off the bone, just the breast now, and I'm going to wrap them up in cling film, season them, just trim the bone here a little bit, wrap them up, and then going to poach them. Wrapping the chicken breasts in cling film helps to keep their individual shape and retain flavour during poaching. I've decided not to roast it on the bone. Uh, I'm going to roast it after I've poached the chicken. Yes, I've seen that technique. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And you can <laughs> control how much moisture is left in the breast. Exactly, totally. Better, better, better to poach it at a lower temperature, keep the breast moist. That's exactly what I'm thinking here. I'm actually worried whether or not I've still got too large a portion. After yesterday, you realise I... I gave too much of my, uh, my fish course, I, and I'm going to adjust that. So I'm a little bit nervous here, and I'm going to end up with too much chicken. The chicken breasts are poached in boiling water for 15 minutes. Confident? Yeah, no, so far it's looking OK, actually. They're then pan-fried in butter to give colour and add even more flavour. And finally, they go into the oven to roast. To find the best tasting chicken for his dish and hopefully beat John's beef, Michael scoured the southwest and 10 miles north of Exeter, he found a free range poultry farm run by Jason Wise. Hi, Michael. All right, you keeping well? Nice to see you. Good, Hi. yeah. Jason uses an arc system on his farm. It's a fully mobile insulated shelter which lets the chickens wander about with constant access to fresh pasture. It also provides them with far more space than broiler chickens have. They've got a good life then here, roaming around in the Clum Valley. Uh, definitely. Right, Jace, I need a couple of your best birds. So right, not a problem. On this special occasion. Well, the chickens we've got in here are going to be about the right size for, for what you need. OK. Oh, wow. So, how old are these? Well, they're um, ten weeks old. There's a mixture of cockerels and pullets in there. See, as they're coming out, you know, they're scratching for their food, Jace. You know, that's, that's, that gives the extra flavour in the, the leg meat. Absolutely. 